Well, now, there are new developments today concerning the Conservative Party chairman, Grant Shapps, and websites he ran under the alias Michael Green. Michael Crick has been following the story and is with me now. So, well, what exactly has happened, Michael? Well, on Sunday's programme, I did an item about this and the worries that people have about him using a pseudonym. And we looked at these websites and we found all sorts of testimonials from people that we could find no evidence that they actually existed. People such as a woman called Corinne Stockheath of... Uh, sorry, we could find nobody called Stockheath in the entire uh, planet. Well, on Sunday's programme, I managed to catch up with Mr Shapps in a corridor. What about uh, Corinne Stockheath of Surrey? Doesn't appear to be any Stockheath oh, anywhere in the world. That. There doesn't appear to be a stock heat anywhere in the world. Is she genuine? Oh dear, how am I going to get back to me? Now, um, today, uh, the Advertising Standards Authority, the ASA, in response to a complaint uh, from a blogger, uh, announced the conclusion of an informal investigation into all of this. And they said that uh, they'd received assurances from How To Court, the business that uh, Mr Shapps used to run and founded and is now officially run by his wife, assurances that they will make it clear uh, in future if pseudonyms are going to be used. And also How To Corp agreed that they would not use testimonials in the absence of adequate evidence um, that they're genuine. Uh, but uh, this raises uh, all sorts of issues. I mean, Mr Shapps' spokeswoman said to me today that as far as he's concerned, uh, the issue is now covered. Uh, well, as far as I'm concerned, the issue is really whether it's been covered up, because all the material's been taken down uh, from the website. And Mr Shapps, in response to a request from me, uh, refuses to publish uh, the evidence that he provided to the ASA. And then, of course, there are big questions about Corinne Stockheath. Uh, does she uh, exist or does she not? Perhaps uh, if she's watching this programme or anybody knows her, uh, they may like to get in touch with us to uh, put, uh, put her problems and indeed Mr Shapps' problems at rest. Michael Crick, well, now we'll be back again at the end.